But I took a creative work from page to stage. And I think that I've acquitted it well. It's not perfect. The play was not perfect, for God's sake. But my adaptation of the play to the stage is not perfect, but it's excellent. So I went for perfection every step of the way. Certain things you just don't have time to do, beyond I can or I couldn't afford to do, and uh, the important things remained. So I think that this is a play that is about what's on the page. We've got a very nice set to look at, very pretty actors to play the roles. Um, but it's really about the play, and I'm proud of that. I hope the hair turns out fabulous tonight. Yeah. Frederick, I would really love to meet you someday. I love. Uh, yeah. I love your though. post. We, I can sense your artistic soul through your, your words and your excitement for this show. So we wish you were here with us. Well, you are here with us here. So break a leg. <laughs> are you gaining weight? <laughs> no, I, I believe so. Well, sweetie, outfit then. Thank you. <laughs> we sat on the porch talking about our future once the war was over. Trying to convince ourselves our separation would be a brief one. His words said one thing while well, his eyes said another. You know, at the train station, I gave him a picture of me. I couldn't tell him what I really wanted to say. Which was? And I was going to miss him. Mention me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did he say how much he would miss us? <clears throat> Doesn't matter. He'll be home soon enough. That's all that really matters. We just need to keep thinking happy thoughts. Because happy thoughts are what bring up the roses. I'm oh, listen <laughs> close, everyone. It was 1921 when I was at... 16 years old. That <laughs> was September 3rd, to be exact. All right, here's another clip. He's originally from Illinois, and his father was a doctor. The way you go on, it's as if every day were a milestone. And besides, how do we know that any of this is true? <gasps> All my stories are true. Aren't they, Miriam? Oh, yes, I believe so. I've never given a reason to doubt me, have you? Oh, no. no, no, ladies, that's enough. <laughs> no more talking of death. Now, wait a minute, Harriet. Let's talk about it, shall we? No! Not in my house! I won't have it! There'll be no talk of death here! There'll only be happy thoughts! Do you hear me? Yes, yes by tomorrow. I just love watching men sweat, don't you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you afraid of just hearing you? We don't want to leave. Oh, he looks so handsome. And he had a sparkle of pride in his eyes I hadn't seen in a very long time. At last, his life was part of something larger than himself. And he was leaving behind a past that made him feel lesser of a man. Oh, you should have seen him there standing all tall and proud. 